Hey, I'm AJ. Today we're going to go through a warm up for your vocal cords, a warm up for your oxygen efficiency, a warm up for your lung capacity. This routine is working on all of these things. We're staying in time. This is why I have the metronome. I also have my keyboard here, my app keyboard that's going to keep us in tune with the standard piano so that we can go through a good range of, of notes for this one. And we're gonna perform breath retentions, we're gonna work on your carbon dioxide tolerance. Let's begin, this is a short routine, this is great. I actually did perform on Broadway for many years and I wish I had known about these breath work routines sooner. In fact, I work with a lot of singers, jazz singers, opera singers, Broadway professionals, former colleagues who have benefit, benefited so much from integration of breath holds stacked inhales, these things that help to increase the mobility and the strength of our rib cage, of our pelvic floor. So we're gonna get pretty, pretty specific with the breath work. We're gonna begin with only breath work and then we're gonna go into adding some singing, some scales reflecting what you learn at the beginning. So let's begin. I'm gonna sit on this, this Pilates mini ball because I wanna feel what's going on with my pelvic floor while I go through this routine. Um, you can also sit on like a physio ball or even a, just, just a chair. If all you have is a chair, but just try to sit on something soft. So you can feel the difference between release pelvic floor and engage pelvic floor. If you do have an ab ribbon, wonderful, because you're gonna be able to breathe into that ribbon and also loosen the ribbon when I say loosen the ribbon. So we're gonna begin with a breathography engaged exhale. That's my breathing routine that I use with all of my workouts and a wonderful way to strengthen your obliques and strengthen your singing muscles. So you're gonna take two stacked inhales through the nose, one, two, and then on an eight second exhale, you're going to perform a blowing sound for two seconds, a hissing sound for two seconds, a soft shish, and then a loud shish. That is the engaged exhale and that's gonna drain all of the air from the lungs. It sounds like this. Inhale, one, two, blow. Pelvic floor is lifting. You're loosening the ab ribbon. Let's practice again. Inhale, one, two. Loosening the ab ribbon, lifting the pelvic floor. That's our engaged exhale. We're going to begin only with that in order to increase our carbon dioxide, drain the air from the lungs, get a nice juicy warm up, and then we're going to add our scale. So now we're going to add our breath retentions. At the conclusion of each of those engaged exhales, you're first going to perform a two second breath retention, then a four second, then a six second, then an eight second. We're going to do four in a row. Just follow me. Let's go. And we're always staying engaged, even on the inhales. And we're always going to perform two stacked inhales. When we go to the inhales, you're keeping those muscles engaged that you just engaged with that hard engaged exhale. So keeping the ribbon loose when you inhale, you're inhaling into a tight wall, a tube, a cylinder of taut abdominals. So let's practice together and three, two, one, double inhale, one, Two. Loosen the ribbon, hold for one. Stacked inhales, one, two, blow. Hold for four, four. Engaged inhales, one, two, blow. To loosen the ribbon, hold six. Pelvic floor up. Loose ribbon, stack to inhales, one, two. Lifting the pelvic floor up, drain the air, expel the air, hold for eight, seven, six, so tighten the abs, five, four, three, two, and a one. So now from here, we're gonna perform that same pattern, except instead of going through the engaged exhale, I'm gonna play a note on the piano and we're gonna go through scales, but we're gonna add that two, that four, that six, and that eight second breath hold. Simply follow me, because remember, you can practice this video over and over again. It might seem a, like a bit com complex, a bit complicated the first time you learn it, and make sure to always go back to those breathography baby steps if you wanna go deeper into learning the breathography method. All right, so this is our C scale. Mm, I know my pitch is not perfect, but we're relatively there. So we're gonna go stacked inhales. Mm, 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 
hold, hold, inhale, inhale. So now we're really gonna follow that timing of the metronome. Let's take our double inhale and inhale one, two, hold the breath for one, inhale one, two, hold for four, three, two, one stacked inhale, one, two, for six, two, three, four, five, six, stacked inhales, one, two, hold for eight, inhale, one, two, for 10, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a 10. Whew. Staying engaged is intense. And remember, when you're engaged with those abdominals and you go to those stacked inhales, you're pushing all that air into your intercostals and the intercostals are moving increasingly increasing their range, kind of like an accordion. You can view like staying engaged here in the abdominals forces the air to move more in the ribs, moving the ribs more. More malleable ribs means a better sound. More able to support the sound from lower, you're strengthening your diaphragm. Ultimately, you're creating like a barbell for your diaphragm at the bottom because your diaphragm needs to move down into something. Instead of you having a barbell on your shoulders, you have a barbell underneath your diaphragm and you're using that extra resistance, that pad, those pounds of force that you're creating with your engaged tube to create resistance training progressive overload for your diaphragm. That's important as a singer. Now here, I want you to release everything. This is one of the reasons I wanted you to sit on a ball because I want you to feel the pelvic floor release. I want you to feel the abdominals release. And now from here, we're gonna start on a C scale again and we're gonna go nice and slow. Stacked inhales, two, three, Four. And the only difference between this exercise and the last exercise is that we are staying released with our abs and we're staying released with our pelvic floor. So we're going a, a sliding scale, four stacked inhales, a sliding scale, four stacked inhales. I'm gonna go up the chain. We're just gonna go about five or six notes and we're staying released. So this is also a release and a recovery exercise for your abs and for your pelvic floor. So we're gonna take it. Mm -hmm. Inhale, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. Stacked inhales, one, two, three. Fill the ribbon, four. So those, stat, those are relaxed, those are released. The combination of this routine where you're performing the engaged exhale and the engaged scales, and then the released breath, this release right here, this is recovery, this is mobility. Perform these two before you go into your show or your, um, you know, or your singing about your practice session. And you can also perform it after the fact. So if you get it twice, you are going to nail increasing activation of the muscles that you need and warming up the muscles you need to sing well and then also recover. At the end of the session, I would mostly lean into this recovery breath here, just getting those stacked inhales. It's gonna also calm the nervous system, increase nitric oxide and carbon dioxide levels in the system, which increases blood flow, which is absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you at the next video.